Well, in a little more than two weeks, Extreme Home Makeover Home Edition will pick a deserving Knoxville family to receive a new home. A local general contractor, Grace Construction, is donating its services as the lead builder on this project, but the company can't do it alone. It's also relying on the community, volunteers, and donations to build the new home in just, this is hard to believe, one week. Joining us now to talk more about the upcoming build are Christy and Scott Branscombe with Grace Construction. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank First you. of all, Christy, we have to say congratulations. Thank I'm you. being named to the administration for Madeline Rohe, our new mayor of Knoxville. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I'm excited about it. Well, let's talk about this, this amazing, amazing process and project that you have. Scott, how did this come to pass, you all being involved in this? Well, unbelievably, but uh, there's a lot of folks from Knoxville that are on the Extreme Makeover staff. And they've been wanting to bring the show to Knoxville for several years, and they finally had an opportunity to bring it in. And uh, they called several local builders, uh, went through a uh, process of elimination, and they finally asked us, you know, are you willing to accept this big project? And uh, I'm glad that we did it, but it's, it's been a, a labor of love already. <laughs> no doubt, and a lot of labor ahead of you, right? Right. Chrissy, let's talk about um, the volunteers needed for this, because this is a tremendous project, a home in a week's time. How does it stand with volunteers? Well, it's actually a bigger project than I think we even anticipated to begin with. The good news is, helping hands, we are full. Um, our website will, will t give you a note that we are full, but you can sign up to be on a waiting list. Now, skilled volunteers, we still need, though. Mm -hmm. So we, anyone who's a skilled volunteer, uh, who can, knows how to hammer, knows how to and knows how to do some things, we really need them to go ahead and register. And they can go to www.grace-info.com and there will be an area there where they can register to be a skilled volunteer. So you've got the people. You need more people. What about the materials? How does it stand with that? Well, we still have a need for uh, some lumber items um, and also televisions. Mm -hmm. um, but really, I think, unless you know, uh, I think one of the things, because it's really fun, it's interesting that some people are on board and then all of a sudden the materials go away. Right. Uh, but I think uh, metal roofing is also a concern right now also. So anybody can help them those, we'd appreciate people it. People can, in, in many capacities, help out with this project. Absolutely. They can actually go to the website and see exactly what we mm -hmm. need. Okay. Uh, if they go to that same website, in addition to buying a shirt or making a donation or signing up to be a skilled volunteer, they can also see you know, what construction materials exactly are needed for the build. Building a house in a week's time. Have you ever done this before? <laughs> no, 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 no. It usually takes about eight months. <laughs> How will this process work then as far as, you know, putting all the people into place and then having that big reveal in a week's time? Uh, well, it takes a lot of uh, project management and a ton of detailed schedules. I mean, we really have a milestone that we hit basically every 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. And I think the extreme folks told us, I think one hour equals, I think a week in real build time. 24-7? Mm -hmm. 24-7, so um, you know, we get a lot of things done at night. Um, and so we work the whole week, about night, day, rain, snow, it doesn't right. matter. We keep going. About 300 people on the side at all times. Wow, so in these last final seconds, what does it feel like? Why, why is this something that you want to be a part of? Well, I have to say, I think at first I was more hesitant than Scott because I knew it was a huge undertaking. We talked about the different families. You know, there, there are finalists here in town. And once we heard the stories of the finalists, we were both just like, we're, we're in. We have to do this. And it's an exciting new adventure. I and uh, I think it'll be wonderful for the community as well. Well, yeah. congratulations. Big give back. You bet. And Thanks. it's all about that. Congratulations. Good luck. Thank you. Very much. <laughs> all right. We'll be right back. Stay with